Hi all. Uh, in this video, we will cover uh, adding a VCS provider in uh, Terraform Cloud. In the last video, we saw that we were learning everything from our local system, and uh, we were preparing all the Terraform configuration files, and we deployed the infrastructure from here, and all the state files were present in this. So it's basically basically not the right practice. So the right practice is to keep that into a a centralized repository in this uh, particular thing we will be uh, using azure repos uh, this video only covers about integrating the vcs uh, that is azure uh, uh, repository with terraform cloud so prerequisites that you need to have is one you should have a azure account with azure devops organization setup uh, and you should also have a free terraform cloud account that we have created. So the URL is app.terraform.io. So this is uh, the configuration that I have. I have already added the VCS provider. But in order to do that, uh, you have to follow one document. It's a popular document from Terraform on Terraform.io site. Just so that, and the procedure is that you log in into the Terraform cloud and uh, you follow the, the procedure. We will go in detail and uh, we will follow the same. So the, we will go into Terraform Cloud uh, portal, the browser, which is this one, and we will click on Add a VCS Provider. And these are the version control uh, providers that you could see, uh, like Bitbucket or Azure DevOps, GitLab. So if you talk about Azure DevOps, you select this one, Azure DevOps Services. Click on the same and here you need to add the things in the same way so now i have already added it uh, so i've i'm just giving you the flow uh, but uh, you can just follow the same you have to just copy and paste whatever is mentioned in this like here you put in hashicorp that i have already added this and then you add the terraform cloud and your organization name like in my case it was uh, Terraform cloud and in brackets the name of the org, uh, the, whatever we created there, and then put in this one app.terraform.io and similarly the rollback it would be empty uh, initially, uh, and then you go in they have shown like what you need to ent enter, and uh, post that you select these two permissions read and code status. If you go in here, so let's do this. Just for an example sake, we will do that. Application name. That you put in there. So they have mentioned like what you need to put in. So this is my org name, which is you could see. Enter the client in secret. It will say that you navigate to this one, create a new application first. So I will go into this one. And here you need to add this application in the same way like HashiCorp, whatever is mentioned. So in this portal, you need to add it. Then you need to use the same thing like in here, you just copy this one. Copy this one website logo uh, application website and callback URL. You copy this one, this is the callback URL. Then you select these two code read and code status. If you see in here. these two and then you create an application I will just change few settings because I have already created it so it has created it and uh, after that if you see it has also created a second entry so uh, then what we gonna do is once this has been done 
you go to the second option where you will enter these app IDs from here app ID the secret and all so I will go to the the app ID I will put in here and client secret show I will copy I will paste in here then I will click, on, click connect and continue so it says then I it says that app request allowing following permission so I accept it for these two permissions read and status code read and status and once that is done it will ask you to set up SSH pair that you can create and load it but uh, for the time being we will leave it as empty we do not require it you, you see here most organization will not need to add the SSH key but if you want you can add it skip and finish so if you see in here this is what it says that the connection has been established for the same uh, so this is about this video in, in the particular next video we would be uh, creating some configuration files or putting up into the configuration files onto the Azure repository which can be accessed I will just give you an example so this is my repo that I have created I have uh, pasted all the Terraform codes in here and these can be called from the workspaces if you see in here the I can create a workspace new workspace and it now gives me two providers which I added uh, so I will just click on this one so it has populated whatever I have in my Azure DevOps project the repository you can select in here and whatever things you implement like the same init plan that you it from here uh, run it from your local system the same thing you can run it from the Terraform cloud and using the centralized repository so this is about this video I hope you liked it thank you for watching